Hello, everyone, and welcome to Barrett Jackson Scottsdale, here in the Valley of the Sun on a beautiful spring afternoon. I'm Bob Varsha, working with Steve Mignante, Rick DeBrule, Lynn Woodward, Tiffany Stone, Tyler Hoover, and Christian Murphy. And there's a look inside the acres of tents housing the dream rides that will cross the Barrett Jackson block. Moving on to the next lot, this is 1295.1 uh, and 1956 Ford Custom F100 pickup. Well, I love what's under the hood, but we'll first look underneath with the chassis cam. There's the front of that classic Ford nose, the underside of that big block Chevrolet, six-speed manual transmission, open drive, chrome drive shaft, tube frame painted to match the body, aluminum, Kugel-style nine-inch sanitary. Yeah, this entire front end is one piece welded together, molded together, and now it lifts up. In fact, just a moment ago, they lifted it up hydraulically, lowered it automatically. And as I mentioned, the previous car had both Boyd Coddington and Chip Foose attached to it. This has some Chip Foose lineage as well, and he was involved in the design. And you'll notice this back deck, which has been elevated, and this is almost like a, a spoiler type effect. And underneath here, we've got the fuel cell back in the back. This is a great looking build. Big block Chevy power. And again, I love the fact that it's a manual transmission. You know, the driver vehicle interface, as the would call that, is much better when you can work the tranny yourself and feel the engine pull through each gear. Automatics are good too, but it's a little more sterile. Make mine a stick shift, thank you. And I was just checking the front. I was curious if it was actually steel or fiberglass. This is actually a steel hood that's been put together. And of course, I love the way they've got the exhaust coming out the side right in the middle of there. And everything on the outside of this. There's no chrome. All of it is the body color. Everything's been shaved. The door handles. What a really nice job on this. 150000 dollars for that great truck. Just rolling off the block to put that little bit of extra pressure on the bidding. This is lot 1268, a 1959 Chevy 3100 custom pickup. This one has the Apache bed, which was in its second year. And let's have a peek with the chassis camera. This one has something unusual. Of course, it's four-wheel drive. There's the front axle, a modern piece, but that's a Napco transfer case right there. Pretty rare piece. Dual exhaust coming out the back, big GMC, full floater type rear axle. Disc brakes on the rear end too. Nice. NAPCO stands for Northwestern Auto Parts Company. Before Chevrolet was officially in the business of putting out four by fours for their pickup trucks, they essentially outsourced it. They let NAPCO do it. If you wanted a four by four, you know, say, I want to buy this, have it installed. It was $1,500, which added a substantial amount of money but it gave you the ability to go off-road with 4x4, which you didn't have before. And of course, at a certain point in time, Chevrolet went, wait a minute, I think we can do that a little cheaper and make a little more money it off ourselves. So they started making their own 4x4s. Yeah, it's interesting. The consigner made a point to include the NAPCO transfer case. They didn't have to do that, because after all, there's a 4L60 automatic, which can be mated to the NAPCO. But uh, interesting, they, they made a big point to say has the original uh, has a NAPCO transfer case. Not that it is a NAPCO, but uh, interesting concept. You know, we've spent a lot of time talking about the four by four aspects of this, but look at the number, $150,000, and that's because when you look at this, it is beautiful from front to black, back with this black paint, and I really like the red accent that they put on this side view stripe right here. Wow, one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. A lot ten fifty, the nineteen fifty Chevrolet thirty one hundred custom five window, the five window pickup, running a brand new GM three hundred fifty cubic inch eight cylinder crate engine, five tech Ram injection, new TCI automatic transmission. Yeah, ten thousand dollar coming running twenty heat out of the back of the thirty here forty thousand out of the fifty back of the sixty thousand dollar heat to make it out of the fifty thousand dollar sixty thousand dollar now seventy thousand dollar out of the middle not a bit now hit out of the seventy out of the middle of the middle of the back of the seventy now seventy out of the middle didn't hear you hit out of the seventy thousand dollar out of the middle of the seventy back of the seventy. 
special for the next one rolling up absolutely we have an announcement to make this will be our next vehicle selected by reliable carriers our partner the best in the business this pickup will receive free shipping anywhere in the united states to your doorstep and it's absolutely flawless and it's going to be just as flawless when reliable carriers deliver to your door Trey? this is incredible thanks for the partnership with reliable carriers again ladies and gentlemen fully enclosed transportation to coordinate your transportation home please visit our booth in the auction office reliable carriers vehicles taken seriously here's our number 1080 in front of us ladies and gentlemen 1954 ford f100 custom pickup ford racing 5.0 liter eight cylinder coyote engine all right here we can have honey paint have it at 30 40 50 and 50 thousand 60 thousand 70 thousand and 70 80 80 80 100 80 100 and 90 pound a hundred pound, 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 a
Here's lot 1081. Tiffany showed us this vehicle earlier, a 1951 Chevy 3100 custom pickup. Thanks, Bob. I'm down here in the Equidome with lot 1081. It is a 1951 Chevrolet 3100 custom pickup. Now, underneath the hood, an LS3 Corvette engine. This took about two years to build. The exterior paint that you see right here, the red with the gold flakes, 20 coats of paint. It is beautiful. The best thing about it, check this out. The bed was fitted with a clear floor, so you could be able to check out that C6 drive line and suspension. This is one of the coolest 3100 pickups that I've seen here. Back to the block. Thanks, Tiffany. Yeah, I know it looks like a 1951 custom pickup, but it's really a C6 Corvette underneath. And if you own a C6 Corvette, and you ever wondered what the transmission looked like? Well, look, check this out. It's got this plexiglass cover in the back so you can actually see the drivetrain in the rear axle. It puts the emphasis on C6, as in C through 6. Wink, wink. I like the exhaust system comes right out the rear bumper, the quad tips of the C6, worked in there very artfully. And I wish you could really see the paint up close. 20 coats with gold metal flake and red and clear, amazing. And it hammers for $185,000. Here comes lot 1314.1, a 1956 Ford custom F100 big window pickup. Well, a one-year cab. It has the similar shape to the previous 5554, but the big difference, of course, is the wraparound windshield and the built-in visor. And again, 57 would be a whole different creature. Uh, the hood, I hope, comes up. This one has a 5-liter Coyote, the 6R86 speed automatic transmission backing it up. Oh, good. Here we go. Nice. I think. Oh, okay. Trick. Front hinge, and there's the Coyote, highlighted in red. And these engines are amazing. They make 1.36 horsepower per cubic inch, which is high performance by any definition. One of the things the consigners included is a little sign that shows the fact that it was a cover girl, that's right, on the front of street trucks, the Coyote 56, the Coyote engine in there. So, once again, the fact that it was on the cover of a magazine just adds to its cool value. By the way, you notice the Willwood brakes with the red, the entire chassis underneath, you can take a look, it's kind of hard, was also powder coated in red as well, and the wooden bed in the back as wood to match the interior. Powder coating is a wonderful medium, essentially. It's a powder that's colored, that gets baked onto whatever metal object you want to heat up to about 225, 30, 30 degrees, and then it melts on there and looks like paint, but you can almost hit it with a hammer and not scratch it. The only downside to powder coating is A, the heat, aluminum parts tend to warp, and B, you have to have a huge oven to heat and melt the powder. But if you can get it into the oven, you can powder coat it. You see the man in the pink sweatshirt shaking his head to the right of your screen. That is comedian Kevin Hart, one of the celebrities on hand this weekend. He's got a group of friends with him trying to get into the car hobby. Good luck, Kevin. <laughs> and I imagine we'll see that on TV somewhere in the indeterminate future. Have a great time, guys, because we all do. A lot 1021.1 specialist update here for this 1951 Chevrolet 3100 custom pickup sold on bonded title title in transit for this 3100 powered by an LQ9 6.0 liter eight cylinder crate engine produces 450 horsepower new 4L60 automatic transmission the 51 3100 custom pickup. 10, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 50. Five, 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 five
Scottsdale. Lot number 1321.1, Dodge Power Wagon Custom Pickup. Have a look here. Underwent a two year, 2,000 hour build, and here's a man here that can tell you a whole lot more about it than me. This is an exceptional build. I've been involved with this vehicle for two years, followed it through the construction from restoration right up through where it sits today. This is a very unique car with the Cummins Turbo Diesel. And Dave Wise is our resident. Look our resident Mopar guru, and when he says it's right, they're right. He is absolutely the man when it comes to these vehicles, and he was involved in the restoration. Trey, tell us a little bit more about the specifics. Here. Yeah, underwent a two-year, 2,000-hour build. It was completed fall of 2020, powered by a turbocharged 5.9-liter Cummins. It's backed by a 48 RE ATS four-speed overdrive automatic transmission. Uh, all right, time to get here now. 200, 200, 225, 50. I'm a 25, 35, I'm a 150, 60. I'm a 50, 100, I'm a 60, 70, I'm a 175, 85. I'm a 80, I'm a 195, 95. I'm a 80, I'm a 90, I'm a 95, 100. I'm a 100, 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 I'm
Boy, these power wagons have definitely arrived in terms of their popularity. And we're closing in on $300,000. That's right. The original engine this would have been a 230 cubic inch flathead six cylinder, but now it's a Cummins 24 valve diesel, turbo diesel even. As the truck rolls up, if we could play the video, please. Here to tell you about this very cool truck is Mike Koval Jr. He is the Ram brand chief executive officer. Tell us about this special truck. Well, first of all, Mr. Jackson, thank you and Mr. Davis. And on behalf of all the men and women at Ram, we are truly humbled and honored to be with you here today and certainly grateful for this opportunity. And I now have the distinct pleasure to introduce the quickest, fastest, and most powerful production truck in the world the 2021 Ram 1500 TRX, delivering 702 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. And underneath that hood, we of course have the legendary 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. But what makes this example so rare is not only is it VIN number one, but it's one of only 702 launch edition models that will ever be built. And at Ram, we are built to serve, and I am so thrilled to announce that 100% of the hammer price will go to the United Way of Southeastern Michigan to benefit our veterans and their families. So thank you very much, and let's have some fun out there. Shelly? Thank you, everyone. It is an honor and pleasure to be up here again, representing United Way for Southeastern Michigan. This time, the proceeds for this vehicle is going towards veterans and their families. 44% of families and households in southeastern Michigan struggled to meet their basic needs, and that was pre-pandemic. This mission is very personal to me because I am happily married to a Navy vet, as well a uh, sister to a Marine vet. And thank you. Thank you. Joseph, Ben one. All right, here we go. All right, you know, the, the Hellcat Hemi came out in 2017. Initially, it was in the Challenger, SRT Hellcat, 707 horsepower. And you kind of thought, wow, that's great. It might make a, maybe 500 or so. Well, no, since then, 50,000 Hellcat engines have been installed in various types of vehicles, including the Demon, and now, yes, the Launch Edition TRX. Amazing, only from Mopar. 702 horsepower, what a beast you look at this. And this is all designed about being off-road. In fact, when you go all the way into the trunk, you can see what they've done with the spare tire is they've mounted it in the back off-road style, not underneath where it could get damaged or fall off. It's sitting up on top right there. So this is all about going off-road with 702 horsepower. Did I mention that? The Mopar Q is the rear axle. That's a Dana 60, which of course we all know and love from 1966 on up in Hemi four speeds and 444 speeds. But this is somewhat fortified. The webbing from the differential cover to the actual tubes is wider, again, to strengthen it for the off-road use this may well encounter. But again, Dana 60 rear axle. One is selling for a charity. The base price on these will be $69,999. And no, they're not limited edition. Ram will build as many as you want to buy. This is part of a limited run of 702 launch editions, but the TRX is what you're talking about. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. 
Great vehicle sold for a great cause to the tune of $410,000. Our top sale of the day and the auction thus far.